Is the Ukrainian president said the violent actions of Russian troops in the town of Borodyanka near Kiev are much more horrific than those inflicted on the residents of the town of Bucha. At the same time, disturbing accounts of life in areas occupied by the Russians have emerged. Tens of thousands of residents of Cherniev suffered punishing conditions with little food, water, or power. Yogateli Mai has been given rare access to the area now Russian forces have pulled out. Her report contains material some viewers may find distressing. Another area the Russians have withdrawn from, more unimaginable trauma. Yahidni, a village in the northeast, close to the border with Belarus. Mikola Klimchuk took us to the basement of the local school, filled with the stench of disease and decay. He was held here for four weeks along with 130 others. The elderly, children, babies, whole families, rounded up at gunpoint, crammed together. I had only half a meter of space. I was sleeping standing up. I tied myself with my scarf to the railing here so I didn't fall over. I spent 25 nights in this position. The main thing I thought was, I have to survive for my daughter and granddaughters. A crude calendar marked every day of pain. Four children lay in each of these cots. The constant sound of bombardment allowed barely any sleep. For toilets, there were buckets. They would overflow. Sometimes Russian soldiers took people outside and used them as human shields. The room has no ventilation. Mikola says 12 people died here. Those who died in this room, they were mostly elderly people uh, believed to have suffocated to death. And when they died, it wasn't immediately possible to take the bodies out. Russian soldiers wouldn't allow it. Also, there was fighting going on outside, so it was often too dangerous. So they would then pick up the bodies and put them here in the corner. So essentially, there were people here, including dozens of children who were living amongst corpses for hours, sometimes days, until they were allowed to take the bodies out and keep them upstairs on the ground just outside the school building. 15-year-old Anastasia was also held captive. I knew the people who died. They were kind. I felt really sad, she said. For no reason, they just died sitting there. Russian soldiers took villages like Yahidne in a bid to encircle and capture the city of Cherniv. They weren't able to enter it, but large parts have been destroyed. A crater created by aerial bombing. A whole neighborhood in northern Cherniv flattened. Nina Vinnik's home was shelled. Her daughter lost a leg. All of us were knocked out by the explosion. When we came to our senses, we began to search for each other. Then I saw her screaming, Mommy, I don't have a leg. It was horrific. How does she respond to Russia denying its targeted civilians? Tell them to stop lying. They lie a lot, she said. There's a woman in a hospital without a leg. That is the truth. Yogutalemai, BBC News, Cherniv.